Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about this monitor from Huawei. And yes, this is the Huawei Mate View, which is still not available internationally, but hopefully in the near future. Before we start, make sure you subscribe my YouTube channel and click the bell for notification. To start with, let's take a look at the monitor itself. It just looks like an ordinary monitor with 4K and HDR, which connects to PC or Mac or laptops. But I can tell you, this is way, way, way more than that. And I will show you in the video. To start with, let's turn on the screen. And the Huawei Mate Wheel is running Harmony OS. Yes, it's Harmony OS. And when I click the mouse, a system menu pops up. And let me to choose the input source. I can choose between wireless, USB Type-C, HDMI, or mini display port. That is great because almost anything connected to Mate Wheel will work. Your PC, your Mac, your laptop, no wonder the Windows laptop or your MacBook works with that. And your gaming console also works with the Mate Wheel. And the PC with Mini Display Port works as well. And most or I can say all of the Huawei phone running Harmony OS connects to this Maywheel wirelessly without any effort. So let's just navigate through the system menu here. And the icon in the middle is a guide to tell you how to connect it wirelessly. And the third one is the master settings. And there are four icons inside this master settings. The first one shows a list of devices that connected to this monitor. In my case, I've got three phones connected. One is my May X2, the foldable phone running Harmony OS. And the middle one is the P50 Pocket, which is a nice foldable phone too. And the first one is interesting. This is a Honor V20, which is a pretty old device. And it is a pretty cheap device also. This ON chip device also connected to this May wheel. It's very exciting at the moment when I upgrade my Honor V20 to Harmony OS and it's a new phone, virtually a new phone after the Harmony OS upgrade. So let's get back to this level. This is the Bluetooth menu. You can pair Bluetooth mouse to this mate wheel as well. Next, it's the legwork menu. And the main wheel is connected to the Wi-Fi network and it connects to 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network as well, which is extremely fast. And it supports wireless projection at a high resolution without almost no latency. Almost, I can say almost. So I will show you later. And the last menu is the system menu and the updates menu. It's running Harmony OS and I've got a few updates already and the user experience is getting better. So let's just try to connect stuff to my Maywheel first. Here I have a USB keyboard that is not connected yet. And now I'm trying to connect that to the USB type A port on the mate wheel. Yes, um, there are two type A ports 
for keyboard, mouse, or thumb drive, stuff like that. And there is also a built-in speaker that is way louder than your phone speakers. And there is also a built-in microphone. So with all your devices connected to the main wheel, you can take advantage of keyboard, mouse, and stuff like that. No wonder you are using a mobile phone and connect it wirelessly, or you use your laptop, connect it through a Type-C cable. It can be very intuitive. You can use your mouse and keyboard with all the connected devices. So let's just try to connect my phone to the main wheel. To start with, just pay attention to this logo here and just try to tap it on the logo and boom, it's done. And my phone is connected to the main wheel. Best of all, I can choose the mode. I can choose between desktop mode, just like now, or phone mode to directly project my phone screen to the back one. And I can control it through the touch screen and it just reflected to the back screen immediately at a very smooth rate with almost no delay, almost low delay, as you can see. That is great for gaming or watching videos. And let's get back to the desktop mode right now. And this mode is powerful. You can open all your mobile apps on this big screen. And at the same time, you can make a phone call, use a camera and all of the stuff on the phone at the same time. Okay, let's just try some stuff here. For example, I just go here and looks for Facebook, right? This is the Facebook app. I can click here for notification. Um, let's just click here. Yeah, the Huawei Fans Cup. I just joined that yesterday and have my first post here. So why don't we just maximize the app now? Ooh, I have a full screen Facebook app and wow, huge photos here. Just click that, you have a full preview or click it once again, have a full screen preview of that photo. That is nice. Double click to enlarge and restore the photo. And if you want to restore it to Windows mode, you can just go up here Use mouse cursor, move to the top, and there is a minimize button, a restore button, and a close button here. Click restore, and it's back to the Windows mode. That is great. And uh, uh, why don't we just back, okay, back here. And I can just use my mouse to move the windows here, to drag it here. And I can launch another app, for example, the calendar. And I can have maximum of two apps in the foreground. And I can switch the position easily. Yeah, great. Or I can drag it to a higher level or lower. Great.
great. And why don't we launch the web browser? Yeah. Let's try something else. Why don't we go to YouTube? And search for some content. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Yeah, maximize and having a full screen YouTube playback experience. I just paused the video. Look at here. This is a live video. On the right hand side, there is a chat room and left hand side with the video. And you can change the settings from, okay, from the lowest 480p to the highest 4K at 60 frames per second. That is great. Or you can just use the small windows mode or bring it back. That is a full PC experience. And let's click the full screen and enjoy the full screen playback. And best of all, the sound is output to this larger speaker instead of the small one on your phone. You can change the volume at the YouTube interface here. Okay, let me try. Play and the sound comes out from the speakers here. Or I can minimize the sound. Or even I can direct the sound back to my phone. To do that, just click on this icon. Click on the icon and choose mobile phone or display devices. Okay, click display device to have the speakers on your main wheel or click on the mobile phone to play the sound from your phone. That is great. And let's take a look at here. You can also bring up the notification center. You can browse through your notification in the big screen instead of on your phone. That is great. Really, really great. So this is Huawei Mate Wheel and Harmony OS. The interaction is great, cool, and with style. So this is the end of my video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like to. And I will see you in the next one.